Yeah, talk a little bit about just how the offensive line's been doing the first two weeks, what you're working on, and the challenge of this week. Yeah, for, I mean, um, first week I thought that we left the game with a lot of positives. Um, still, it's a very, very big challenge we had the first week, and didn't play well enough to actually win. I thought the last week was was a really, really poor performance on our part. Um, it's not, it's not a want to, it's not an effort, it's not a physical. It's most of it's just a lack of communication. So, I mean, the the bad news is that we got to fix it. The good news is that we can. Um, so I, I, I feel, I feel we're still we still got to figure out the right side. Uh, our right side's not playing uh, good ball what we want it to be, and, and it's between the Von Donaldson, Justice Soto has shown. DJ Scape, Jared Williams, like those four guys are probably the four that we got to try and figure it out with. Um, so we're still trying to tinker, play with that, see what what happens. Um, I feel Jalen Rivers is he's a freshman. He's the guy you worry about because he's a young guy, the most inexperienced, and he's played the best ball of anyone the first two weeks. Um, Corey's Corey's been solid. Um, Zion still, you can you can see Zion missed his two weeks. Uh, he missed that, a lot of camp, and, and it's showing in his game right now. So. Um, we got to be better. We got to be better all around. We know that. Um, there's no excuses with that. But um, that's the reality. That there are reasons why that happened. But those are just excuses at the end of the day. So we got to get them fixed. And, and what we can do and control us today. And today was a good practice. You haven't played Jared yet. Where, where's Jared? J Jared's very much in the mix. We just we felt that um, at the time, the first week, uh, really the first week of of all, or the. August camp, I thought DJ Scape had as well of an August practice as anyone had. Um, he was he was our best tackle. Now that was partly considering Zion was out most of the month, but I thought DJ had a really, really good month of August, and he had earned that right, um, and really had one of the better springs of all the tackles. That's with John Campbell before the injury, Zion, all those guys included. So I felt that, and he got taken advantage of uh, early on in the Alabama game, and we can't get our quarterback hurt, and can't get him hit. And, and that's what was happening, so that's why we pulled him. Um, and Jared, I love Jared. It was just we felt that DJ had outperformed him at the time, and then and then Justice was a guy that we had brought Justice in to be a guard. And then when Zion was out all of August camp, we had to play at tackle just to get some guys to play at the tackle position. And um, he played really, really well in August. So just there was at the time we just felt that, that Justice was still playing a little better than Jared, and that's why we made that switch. Uh, we liked the way Justice came in the Alabama game and competed, and, and did. We thought we did some nice things, and that's why we gave him the nod against Appalachian State. So, uh, neither Vaughn nor Justice played winning football last Saturday night by any means. So, we got to keep exploring what are those options, and Jared are definitely there's definitely consideration for those options. With Jared, an option at right tackle, I would assume. Does that mean Justice could tinker at right guard? Yeah, the the way I look at it right now, it's. It's a right guard, Justice, um, Justice Vaughn, Navon battle, and then at right tackle, it's it's a DJ Jared conversation. Uh, so, uh, you know, we got to get it right. We got to perform. We got to uh, we got to get the results. So, if it's play them both and, and figure out what combination works best, uh, but we're not there yet. And a lot of it is we missed those reps in August, and unfortunately, and it's still not still not good enough. We got to do better. Coach, you mentioned. Corey's been solid, I think was the term you used. Navon mentioned that he's gotten some reps at center and fall camp. Is that even an option to? Well, Navon had to take those reps in August because we weren't sure of the status of Ja'Kai Clark. Um, Ja'Kai, Ja'Kai's our, our center of the future. Uh, we're trying to we're trying to limit and hold Ja'Kai back to, to play him for and redshirt him. That way we have him for a lot of time. And that's, that's something that Ja'Kai and his family all want as well. So, uh, not that he won't play, and, and Ja'Kai understands that if we feel like we need that to happen, he will. But also, we're trying to respect their wishes as well, and, and really that long term for the health of the program, that's that's the best thing for us is now we have a center that much more longer down the road. And clarification, would, Jekai, would that be back-ended in the season, or would it be sprinkled before? If, if we we know if Corey Gainer goes down, Ja'Kai Clark's coming in the game center. So yeah. he, he's ready is what I'm he, Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. He, he's, he's been, he's actually bounced back quicker than probably what he thought. I mean, he's in, he's been a really, really good, really good spot. And, and Devon's more of that third string emergency center if something happens. Gary, the analytics show that you guys had some success running outside the tackles. Um, inside, not so much. Is that pretty much what you're seeing as well? I mean, we're reading stats off the field. Yeah, um, well, I, I I mean, Alabama, we didn't have a whole lot of success right. running anywhere. Um, and then, uh, 
you know, I, I, I think you get in a game and and you're like, you, you almost we we've got to do as an offensive line, we've got to do everything we can to develop trust in the, so, so Coach Lashley can feel like he can call an answer call. Um, if you call a an outside run and you get burnt and you get hit for a loss, as a play caller, it's like touching a hot stove. You're like, oh, maybe I don't want to call that again. So I, I think it's not that we don't want to call outside runs. It's, it's um, I feel like he's been burnt, and, and so like we know like at least we're getting we're getting stuff to move forward. So so I think that's and that's really a question for Coach Lashley. But um, we've got to do our part as an O line. We got to do our part as an offense. Regardless of what's called, we give that play caller confidence that he can call where he needs to call. Let's do a couple more questions from Coach Justin. I guess there's also been a couple of teams in front of the late blitz where it looks like guys aren't picking up you know, the late blitz. Yeah, um, well, the, the one, um, like, like we had a, a five man protection, the right side didn't squeeze down, and that goes back to our right side issues. Um, and the, the discouraging things is, is those are things that. They have shown time and time again they can do it, but when the lights on, they didn't do it. And ultimately, that's my fault as a coach. I got to coach. I got to keep coaching them better. I got to keep being a better coach for those guys. Um, and then other times, it's it's um, it could be other people on the on on the protection. But um, we are improving. The, the thing we the results does not say that on the field. Um, we got to look at the long term growth. Uh, we got to win now. We got to do everything necessary. But. We can't, our kids can't hang their heads. We still are and still are going to be a, a good offensive line. Have we played it yet? No, we haven't by any means played it yet, but we've got to build the confidence up in these guys to make sure they can show out and have a nice game on Saturday. You, you, you say you didn't play well this week, but you did some good things versus Alabama. What were those things you did well versus Alabama? I thought our double team combinations were good on our inside zones. Uh, now, now they're backers pulled us off of some of those. Uh, I thought our communication was a lot better than what it was the last week. Uh, the, the issue with Alabama was Alabama was really good defense as well, and, and good defenses make more mistakes. But walking away from that game, you could see, okay, we're close. And, and if, maybe if it's a lesser opponent, we have a really good day. Um, but all in all, first two games, we haven't really played that well. What's been Last the question. situation with Navon? Uh, you mentioned he's been struggling a little bit. What's I think uh, the biggest thing, he, he just plays out his pads, plays too high right now, um, plays too high, and then just has some mental breakdowns that, that are inexcusable. Uh, it's the biggest thing, and we love Navon, and, and Navon's been a big part of this program for a long time, but uh, he's got to play better, and I've got to coach him better. Awesome. Thank you very much.